There was drama on Monday at the Unity Fountain in Abuja as set out by civil society coalition demanding the release of detained revolution now convener Omoyele Shawari turned violent. Pro-government demonstrators clashed with anti-government demonstrators, severely beating up protesters. The pro-government group said they are totally against attempts by the civil society coalition to demand for the release of Shawari. Several activists, including Deji Adeoju, the convener of concerned Nigerian group, were severely beating up. Our correspondent, Amadine Uyi, reports. The coalition called from several civil society groups had converged on the National Human Rights Commission in Abuja. Chanting songs of solidarity. They say their intent is to urge the federal government to free all detained political prisoners, including the convener of the Revolution Now movement, Omoyele Sore. They also say their protest condemns the invasion of the Federal High Court in Abuja by personnel of the Department of State Services, DSS, in their attempt to rearrest Mr. Sore after he was granted bail. This rally is taking place in Abuja and in Lagos. In January, in early January, we are going to continue if those demands are not met. We are going to continue and we are going to expand beyond Lagos and Abuja. We are going to include three other cities. And that's the way we are going to be escalating these freedom rallies. We have termed them freedom rallies. Until those demands are held, uh, 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 are met, or something gives. These are the fundamental demands that we are making and that we are tired of corruption because corruption is the seed of the reason why they are doing what they are doing. And we are saying that the president has committed himself and committed to the nation that he is going to fight corruption and that corruption is still going on. Despite the effort of EFCC, ICPC, they are doing their best, but some people in government are undermining this institution. And we are saying that we cannot continue this way. Secondly, our country has been exposed to the most ridiculous political space in the, in the world. Everybody is seeing what is going on. For security, for security people to enter court, it has never happened in the history of Nigeria. And it has never happened in the history of any African country. Receiving them. A representative from the National Human Rights Commission urged them to remain peaceful. All I need is to urge you now to continue your protest, but in a very peaceful matter, manner. Do this, it is your right, and we'll continue to pursue the rights of all the citizens of Nigeria. This one we are assuring you. you. Your complaints, like you have uh, now outlined, will take them to the appropriate authority. However, a drama ensued as another group protesting in support of government appeared on a scene and a violent clash followed. What has happened today is that we have seen some young jobless boys who are victims of the state. Themselves, they are victims of the state. You can see that they are smoking, uh, smoking, uh, smoking, they are on drugs, they came to beat us physically. As I speak to you now, some of our colleagues, we don't know their fate because they've chased them and this happened in front of the security. Nobody, nobody asks anybody to, 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 to be violent or to be brutal against any other person because the other people are doing, what, what the other people are doing, they are doing it because it is, it is inscribed in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that every Nigerian has a right to protest either for or against. Our hours is here to solidarize with the government of President Mahmoud Nobody, nobody, nobody harassed against. anybody. It was because they started insulting the people that we came together. That was the reason why some of them started agitating. That why will they be insulting them because they are equally Nigerians. The police which had refused to intervene finally tried to restore law and order after much persuasion from the press. Amadine Uyi, Plus TV Africa.